Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks and a viewer or subscriber. And if you can see that, it's got a little pound sign grid marks with the word grid written on it. No matter what tool he was using, it would come up. And he was kind of, it never had happened before. And he was kind of curious. So at some point, it's going to it's gonna say grid. And like it says, edge. And I couldn't get it to do it, but what it is, it's it's only when it's snapped to a grid line, and the grid lines are not there. So I couldn't get it to do it. I, I tried everything, and but you can see it pop up every once in a while, and it was bugging him. But what that is, that's when he's got it to snap to grid documents. So let's just turn on some grid lines. And this would be very helpful because you can make these grid lines any size you want, and it would snap well, you, let's draw a rectangle. It would snap to those grid lines, and then you could draw perfect, like this is a quarter inch grid, I guess, because they're 22 and 21 and a half. Um, so there's a quarter inch between them. But that's what it is. I couldn't get it to do it, but I wasn't snapped on the grids like he was. So if you ever have that come up and you don't like it, just go to view snap to and turn that off and then you won't get that it is pretty useful if you're going to draw a bunch of squares at different patterns and you can very easily change the grid by going to tools customization document grid and you can change the grids per inch there's four grids per, there's four grids per inch so if you just wanted one grid per inch and then hit OK. Then your grids are one inch apart and you could have it go to view, snap to grid documents and then you could draw one inch blocks e equally and evenly because it's going to snap to it. So it is pretty useful but it's annoying if you're not wanting it. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.